we so next up frank why don't we show um the roy why don't we you introduce father roy okay thanks rachel um roy roy bourgeois uh father roy as we like to call him he he um uh, served in the Navy as an officer in Vietnam. And after that, he was moved by what he saw there. So he joined the Marino missionaries, same with Blaise was and Teresa Bonpain were, and uh, ordained to the priesthood in 1972. And he served the poor in South and Central America. His experiences with death squads uh, there impelled him to oppose U.S. training of armies in counterinsurgency at Fort Benning, Georgia. Hundreds of thousands have demonstrated to close the infamous School of America. Uh, Roy founded the School of America's Watch in 1990. Uh, in 2008, he decided he must also address an injustice closer to home, that of, of the exclusion of women from the Catholic Roman Catholic priesthood. His refusal to recant and deny the dictates of his conscience eventually led to his being excommunicated as a priest by the Catholic Church, he was a marino priest for 45 years, and they he didn't kick him out because he was fighting against U.S. foreign policy. They didn't kick him out because he was one of the closest school Americas. They kicked him out because he wanted women to become priests. Anyway, we love Roy, and there's a clip we're going to show now. It's from the, the clip. This is a short clip, and it's from the film Paying the Price for Peace, the story of S. Brian Wilson, and it's about the school Americas, and it features Roy, and Brian uh, is also in it, and Martin Sheen are also in this clip we're going to see. We ready to, I got the clip ready, girls, ladies. Here it is. While this is coming on, and I know it will, just a super shout out to Emily and Mary. Emily right now doing tech is a monster of a program. Thank you, ladies. Yeah. I could say, I would tell anybody listening that Roy is not watching this because Roy doesn't have a computer. He does not have uh, email. So that's why he wasn't able to join us live. Uh, but we're hoping we can get that clip to play with the sound on it. But for any of, any of you who've ever been to Fort Benning for the protest, here we go. Let's see if we get this time. The train attack drew attention to the U.S. That's military's it. involvement in illegal wars, highlighting its role in training secret armies for other countries. Most of the covert training took place in Fort Benning, Georgia, at the notorious School of the Americas. As we gather today at the main gate of Fort Benning, Mientras nos reunimos en estos portones del Fuerte Benning, this is a very sacred moment. Este es un momento muy sagrado. We cannot go about the business of killing without being changed. We cannot come back from Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq, and other wars and go on with our lives as before. No. You know, all these suicides, the PTSD that we're reading so much about now, the message is clear. We are not made for war. This is where SOA Watch started, right here. And I realized something that was uh, staggering to me, but it was uh, something that all of you probably uh, completely understand without having to go to war, and that was that we're all one. We're all connected, and how could I be possibly uh, participating in killing other people I did not know just because I was ordered to do it? So I learned how to be disobedient. When 525 Salvadoran soldiers arrived at Fort Benning, Georgia to start training there in combat, a small group of us went there to say not in our name. And what we found through the Freedom of Information Act was a school of assassins, as we learned it was well known of it in Latin America, a school for dictators, a school of torture. 
Washington Post front page, along with the New York Times, had a very big article about the, the, the torch manuals that were used at the School of the Americas. Techniques of torture. And this is serious. This is serious stuff. We talk about crimes against humanity here. And it was time to put out the word. No more, no more. We must stop the dirty war. Let's gather here every November, that weekend before Thanksgiving. And in the name of solidarity, let us come and call for the closing of this school of assassins. And something happened. We started with 10, and then the next year, you know, 100 came. And then the next year, 500, and then 1,000 then 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. All of a sudden, we had 20,000 people gathering here. And when they sent us to prison, it just energized the movement. Uh, it just brought more people the next year. And when they sent us to prison, what we learned was that they could not silence us. The truth cannot be silenced. And we organized from prison. We went to Latin America simply to request that they stop sending their troops here. And I'm happy to report that five countries made decisions to pull out. Those countries being Argentina, Uruguay, Venezuela, uh, Bolivia. We went to Ecuador where we met with President Rafael Correa. And at that meeting, he announced that Ecuador was pulling out of the School of the Americas. He, he said something very important, President Correa. He said, this school should not exist. We cannot live without cooperation. It's the most important characteristic of human survival. When we become so arrogant, we justify doing anything we want as if there's no consequences. It's insanity. We've come to a level of divorcing ourselves from the reality of war. The West has taught the East how to solve problems, and it's basically through violence. You can't make war safe. Okay, thank you very much.